What's up, everybody? Um, if you're watching this video, you're probably watching it because you're looking at buying this specific exhaust, the Isis 3-inch straight dual with the 3-inch tips on it for the S13 240SX. Um, and the reason I made this video is specifically because uh, I could not find uh, any U any YouTube videos or any videos, period, uh, with a stock KA, a stock manifold, and a stock cat. The only thing that's different about the exhaust is the cat back. Um, not running a test pipe like everybody else that has videos on an NA car, which sounds ridiculously loud, and you will get tickets, and you'll probably lose a bit of hearing. Um, that's going to be with any NA car that you put a straight pipe on, that, that stuff's going to be crazy. Um, but anyway, so this is it on my car. Like I said, stock motor, stock manifold, stock cat, stock everything uh, drive-wise except for this cat back. And um, I don't know if you can see it that well, but it, it fits really well. The tips, they tuck up in the back really close to the tow hook. I'm also using the, the uh, Circuit Sports. Uh, the little blue poly um, exhaust bushing, so that that keeps it, you know, held up um, pretty much as high as possible without, you know, putting. It's fine. I'm sure it's fine if you put hose clamps around your uh, exhaust bushings or whatever. But it fits really well. Um, my car is on um, 15 by 8s with 225 50s. So the car. Um, even though the wheels aren't tucked up in the wheel wells, the bottom of the car sits pretty low. And the only thing, the only con I would have about this exhaust is that the middle section of it, where the flange is, um, pretty much, um, I don't know if you can see it from here, but like uh, right next to the diff, where that flange is, that two bolt flange, that sits pretty low. Um, but like I say, my car is on 15 inch wheels and it's pretty darn low. I probably have maybe, maybe two inches, maybe a little less um, under my uh, front subframe. Uh, back's not that low, but like I say, it, it, it sits a little low, but if you have 16s or 17s on your car, then I wouldn't worry about it at all. I have not scraped this thing on anything yet, uh, and this is my daily. So anyway, let's get on with it. Um, I'll start it up with my uh, remote start on my alarm, so you can hear it, and I'll give you a little, uh, little, little bit of rev. Let's go ahead and start it up. As soon as you crank the car up, that initial exhaust note is pretty loud. Uh, it, you know, it comes out pretty hard when you first start it up, but then it, you know, it, it idles down, and it's got a really mean, really nice, uh, grumbly, you know, really a growly, low note on idle, and this is fairly cold. Um, the car ran for about two minutes before this because uh, my I didn't have my camera set up right and I already I went and started it so you can hear it really really nice idle sounds awesome like I say stock cat so it you know it cuts back on some of that ugly noise let's see if I can if I can show you if you can see it. There's my tow hook. It's up nice and high. My finger in between it. It's not too high, it won't rattle on it. Here's the circuit sports pushing. I was talking about it sits pretty low. 
So like I say, no problems with me so far. Good welds on the hangers. It looks really nice. The tips don't stick out too far in the back. I was kind of worried about that. I didn't want it to look goofy or anything and have tips that stick out really, really far. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the 4 inch tip version of this, the tips stick out a little bit farther, um, which is not my taste, but you no, know, that's just me. So, there's that. And I'll give it a little, give it a little gas. So, um, I'm not sure how good a quality the audio is going to turn out on this camera. This is my old little point and shoot, but sounds good to me. It's not too much. Um, those low revs were two grand. That high, higher one was about three. Um, I live in a little soccer mom neighborhood, so I'm not about to you know, let it rip. I might make somebody mad, but yep, I like it. Uh, if I was you, I wouldn't really be afraid of putting this cat back on a on a car with a cat on it. So uh, that's it. Have a good one.